So this schedule does two things. Uh, firstly, it gives you the grade boundaries for each of the Edexcel IGC IGCSE papers. So for example, in um, let's say May 2014, you needed to get 80% uh, for an A star, 62% for an A, and so on. Um, what it doesn't do, because we're not given this information, is actually give you the percentage for each of the two papers, the paper three and the paper four. We're just told what the average is. So you needed to average 80% on both of the two papers or average 62% um, over both to get an A. So obviously if you get 64 in one of them, you only need to get 60 in the other. So that's the first thing this does. Secondly, the red column is really the referencing that I use for filing these away. So if you're trying to find the um, the May 2014 paper 4, I filed it away using my referencing number, number 14.